What's up, y'all? I got a film with fee, so let's get into this tea. I got cool uh with me. Oh, what's up? A shot. So y'all, we about to watch Safari. Getting into it with Eric Amina, his baby mother. Let's get into it. Oh, oh. Oh, they got back together? No, the, he done ex exposed some footage because she was exposing him yesterday. That toe hanging over that. Oh. Oh, it's hanging over the slide. <laughs> oh, hanging over the slide. I don't even. I don't even know where to start. Just do it. Um. I just before you say anything, so far, <clears throat> I just want y'all to know that all these celebrities are about to start exposing the hell out of each other. I think everybody got it in their mind now. I'm gonna just tell social media, and that's a bless because get out of your phone before I steal. <laughs> that's a blessing because um we're gonna have more content to watch you don't even know what's going on what's what's going on with these two <laughs> yeah if i know <laughs> but i'm okay. i'm putting but i do remember that um everything out there talk because okay. <laughs> i thought I do remember that they got divorced and she was like, oh my God, my divorce is finalized. And oh my God, what about the kids? And he ain't got to pay shit. And she was like, oh my God, the burden of my kids is all on me. <laughs> I do so, remember that. <laughs> so he said that uh, he was trying to take the child support down. And she says he's only seen... Um, He's only seen the kid 16 times this year. And mm. she's like saying she's seen him obviously more. And he don't need to take the child support down. Now, we're going on, cuz. Now, um, Sorry, cut the cut. he's exposing her for everything, I guess. Oh, okay. The fact that people, even whether you know me or not, you still there still has to be like a certain level of, of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. And this has nothing to do with TV at all, none of that. Like this is, this is real life because kids are involved. And this deadbeat narrative, it's like... So far I got a big head but not only that his uh <laughs> is his line lopsided or his head tell just his to the so side? <laughs> oh okay that's what i thought i was tripping okay it's, it's just know. it's just so jarring to me it it does give me a headache sometimes but then you know um i'm pretty good at just brushing things off but you know people who know me and especially know my situation <clears throat> they're like, yo, how long are you going to stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be, I be sparing people. And then at the same time, it's like, yo, it's nobody's business, but X. I feel like everybody just feels like they know my business. And if it's reported, it's news and that it's the truth and it's real, but I'm I'm pretty sure that you know there's some men out there who can relate to this, and um, when it comes to being a, a father in a co-parenting situation, where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing, and they can't have control, it it's just not going to be a, a easy transition. You know, especially when, you know, the the, the um, other person is just used yeah. to it being one way or very controlling or still <laughs> wanted the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore. <laughs> but I love my kids. <clears throat> and mm. it's gotten to the point that I, I have to put myself 
first because I'm either going to end up in jail mm -hmm. or worse because oh, I'm damn. dealing with someone who... Hold the line now. What, what just happened? Look down for a second. Nah, he was talking about how he loved his kids, but she acts in jail. No, you ain't see either then. I, I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or mm, worse mm, because I'm off me. dealing with <laughs> someone who is just, whose anger management is just non-existent. When I oh! first oh, moved to Florida, yeah. I remember I, oh, I got she a two-bedroom condo, right. and the first time I had my kids come over there after my divorce, and I started the whole okay visitation we and having my kids for the days I was having them. When my kids first came over in my condo, it made me so depressed because I was like, "Yo, you fighting tears?" They just. I felt like they were so confined and I didn't feel good about it. And I said, yo, I got to get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, and, and hurting themselves and just, it just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children, you know, co-parenting setup. And I found my house. <laughs> And I'm gonna just I'm gonna be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I got this house because of my kids. I got this house for my kids. Seeing my kids be here running around, it's the best feeling. You know? You know when you have children with somebody who, at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting, you know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because the child was put off to go live with somebody else. And, you know, you don't, you kind of look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that. I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? And then when you finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why, it's, it's crazy. You know, imagine right. speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old. And he says... If I ever had to live with my mother, I would kill myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm I, I wouldn't I wouldn't make that up, you know? And it's it 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 sucks that I gotta like really just run this down because of this smear campaign and somebody who gets such a high on just talking about me and picking and choosing what kids you want to, you know, have on the forefront and get whatever extra attention you get off of it. You know, so I kind of just looked past certain things and thought that, you know, maybe I could help and make things better. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out and the two of you are just like in a weird space and everything is a fight especially in front of the kids like i'm not gonna subject myself to that my kids have never ever seen me upset my kids have never heard me yell
argue. That's just not in me. I don't know who Linda but, is. You know, on the other <laughs> hand, the other side. They thank, don't, thank you, Chrissy. They don't think the way I do. And when, when I have my kids and someone is pretty much trying to police and parent and like watch every single thing I'm doing and call, oh, who's there? Well, what's going on? It's just so unhealthy, so excessive to the point where it just creates a lot of issues. Like, you can't pick and choose when it's okay to say, okay, the kids are good. And then if we're not, you know, in a good space, then it's a, it's an issue, you know? I've taken my kids to Jamaica. If I was such a bad parent, n nobody's gonna let a man take the kids to Jamaica by myself. I didn't have no help. And I want a biscuit for it. I did it, you know? It just, it just <laughs> creates biscuit. such a level of toxicity that it's better to just be like, you know what? I'm gonna deal with this through the courts. And when this thing gets sorted out, how it's supposed to be sorted out, then, okay, we'll figure it out. So for the past, you know, few months, that's what I've been dealing with when it came to, you know, looking for lawyers and just trying to figure out this whole thing because my original standing order for this child support and the visitation and all of that, everything, it originated from Georgia. We moved to Florida. When we moved to Florida, everything has to get transferred over. It just got transferred over like this week. So now I get to find out what this new setup is going to be because I refuse to go to her house to mm -hmm. pick up the kids. I refuse. I'm not. She, it's just too unstable, too unpredictable. The only way I would do it is- He, he was, he's, she scratched him. Pick up the kids. I refuse. I'm not. She, it's just too unstable, too unpredictable. And- mm. Yeah. Big ass gash. The only way I would do it is either a police precinct or if the kids are somewhere else and I'm picking them up from there. Damn. But everything is just done off of spite and being malicious intent. On the Damn. Me, I don't move like that. I don't live like that. You know, when people look at me, I don't look like I'm carrying stress. I don't look like I'm losing weight. I don't look like like I'm just harboring so much hate inside me that it physically begins to show. And I'm a father, I'm a grown ass man. When I have my kids in there with me, they're under my care. They don't have nothing to worry about. So I'm not gonna have anybody acting like they need to know every single thing going on. When I was filming Love and Hip Hop Miami and I had my kids here calling, oh, where, where the kids at? What they do? Oh, you better not be filming with the kids. Oh. First of all, I've, I've never filmed with the kids ever by myself on Love & Hip Hop. They're not a part of my storyline. That doesn't make sense to me. They're not, I'm not gonna be in the park pushing the kids, playing, oh yeah. Oh. Like, of course they wanted to see me film with them, but you know, both parents have to sign off on that. And you know, that wasn't happening. And um, <laughs> You know, the last, the last instant of when we had a transfer with the kids, it was, she called me and said, hey, I'm in the area, I could save you a trip, I could come pick the kids up, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm tired and I don't wanna do the drive. And it was like really like early in the morning or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let her in, lay down in the kids' room. One of the kids was in there, next to the kids was laying with me in my room. And when she gets up, she's like, she wants to have a conversation with me. I'm like, okay, let's talk. As soon as she starts talking, it's yelling, screaming, all of that. I said, yo, look, I'm not doing that. And if you can't talk to me normally in front of the kids where the kids don't realize that we're having a discussion about something that, that we're not agreeing on, then I'm not having it. Oh, I don't give a half, blah, 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 all this yelling, whatever. So I'm like, okay, forget <laughs> it. Just, you know, you here, pick them up, you can leave. And in my face, all of that, blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, all right, you don't want to leave. I call the cops. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm telling them, hey, you know, before this escalates, I would like police presence here because I want her to leave. Filming me calling the cops. Okay, I'm calling the cops. You're filming me. You're the one 
with the anger management problem just going off. So break stuff up in the house, has the kids running over glass, breaking stuff up outside. Mm. Mm. Oh, I broke my little pound. After that, I just was like, you know what? <laughs> if I can't pick up my kids in a place that is like a drop off point or a police precinct, I'm not picking them up because I'm not going to her house ever again in life. My daughter, she has an iPad. I'm blocked on the iPad. My daughter's mm. four years old. She doesn't know how to block people. She doesn't even know how to text. Um, childish, just like BS like that. So I'm like, okay. Um, the next time I got my kids after that, oh, no, prior, before that, when um, I went and I was going to get a restraining order because, you know, she's doing stuff like showing up in my crib five o'clock in the morning, pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. What? Oh my Erica! God. What is that? Erica! Erica! Not her getting on that ladder, though. No. Erica! Erica! Climbing the fence! Hopping that m fence, cuh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've been that fit <laughs> Different type of crazy, my nigga. Because what are you doing? Get down. Okay, ain't this a Chris beautiful camera? Mine is too, I'm by the way. This, but <laughs> that camera look good. This camera crispy is. Can't say it ain't you. Can't say it ain't you. Got the tattoo on her back and everything. And girl, you know, and watch her come out with her sob story. Girl. The hot, the oh fence with her. My is that? God. Look at her. I'm trying to look in the dark. It's on my window. Crazy. My son's birthday party was like a month after that. No, like it was a while after that. And then when I went to the party, they said, "Hey, you want a restraining order?" But um, you went to a party. She was there, so you you must not be in that much fear. So I had to drop that case. And this is me having to have two different lawyers. So this is two separate lawyers for, the, for, for one lawyer for that and another lawyer for this whole family court thing. And next time I got them, it was for, you know, beginning of the summer. And I was like, yo, I'll keep the kids for the summer. Let me know. My mother and my sister's here. They love being around them. They want to be around them. That's the issue. I can't reach my daughter's iPad. Pickup situation isn't sorted out. So when I finally do get them, I sign them up for summer camp. She gets so mad at me for signing them up for summer camp. There's a summer camp by my house. She lives 40 minutes away from me. Summer camp, I'm like, cool, I got them. Let me at least do that. Cause you know, they were here. And my mother was like, yo, you can't just be having them here playing whatever, whatever she was like, they need some, you know, structure. Signed them up for summer camp. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I signed them up for the summer camp. I paid for it. I paid $2,000 to put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days because she had such an issue with me putting them in summer camp by my house. And it was like, why didn't I talk to her? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, I have the kids. They're under my watch and care. I want to put them in the summer camp by me. And why wouldn't I'm I put them by me? Just like, not just talking, just to talk, but put them in summer camp. This was the first month. This is what it was supposed to do. This is what it's supposed to be. This is the schedule. Summer camp, July, boom, boom, boom. The entire month. This was going to be their schedule for the entire month. This is their lunch schedule. This is one of the things she made for me in one of the days that she was in summer camp. So I'm like, okay, what's wrong with putting the kids in summer camp? And it just was such a control thing and it created, like, like it created so much drama. Oh, drop the kids off. Oh, you put them in summer camp. Oh, uh, just nothing made absolute any sense, nothing. Like it was just such an irate 
ignorant conversation because it's to the point where we don't even speak direct. Like his house flies, by the way. Ah, facts. Did you see that kitchen? Man? Yeah. <laughs> My house is set up for them. This, I got their shrine set up. This is for them. This is their area. They, 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 you walk in. This is Maji's room. Man. Ain't no, ain't no deadbeat doing this. Hello. Deadbeats ain't doing this. That's a fact. My daughter, my daughter's room is bigger than than some adults' rooms, Here. and it's just so insane to me how people just, oh yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats, and this situation is all about control. This woman text a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister Yo. because she wanted to let them know that, oh, you're, you and I figure since I know your son is such a liar and since I know he lies on me all the time to you and your daughter, just figured I inform you of him being up in my bed last night. It's ironic how he paints me out to be such a hateful monster, but yet won't leave me alone. You couldn't have gotten a picture with him in his clothes? Does it even matter why you got a picture, period? Who cares if they with you or not? What are we talking about? Oh, she about to lose them babies. She is about to lose them babies. He not, he not only going to get a right lower. in front of us. He not going to get a lower uh, payment. He going to get them kids. Yes, he is. He's going to get them kids. Your, your son, I'm pretty sure your son's not telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense. Okay. Me and you are still, you know, having a relationship and that's over with. Thank God that's over with. Like, you know, I, I prayed about that and, and, and there's absolutely nothing physical going on anymore. And you taking naked pictures and sending it to my mother and my sister to do what and prove what? Right. My mother and my sister are the most least problematic people on earth. My mother's not one of those mothers. She's not like a TV mother who's here acting rah rah and doing a bunch of ignorant nonsense. Like my mother is so calm and zen. And anyone who knows my mother and my sister and what they do, like my sister and my mom, they are in the holistic field. They're very, everything about them is zen, herbs, teas, spiritual. And you're sending naked pictures of me to my mother and my sister. For what? And it's like, that's the type of nonsense I have to deal with. I cannot ever pick up my kids in peace. Everything is just long and drawn out. And it's just so unfair that when a woman says something, no matter what, it's like, oh, it's the man's fault. People are like, but you, you, you didn't know. And I'm kind of like, you know what? Well, I, I thought, I could make somebody not be just like as angry. But then when things just started like going sour and not working out, it just became just, it's just not even realistic to deal with. I saw somebody say one time and I totally felt it. And if you're a father, I know you could, you could relate to this. And it's like, they're like, yo, when you're dealing with a woman who makes you being a parent, just they just make it so hard. It is so draining dealing with someone who's trying to draw you out, someone who wants a reaction from you, someone who talks about you nonstop because they want a reaction. I, I, I don't I'm not one of those people. I don't I don't care. He had to respond. He had to I'm, do this to her. I'm surprised he didn't did it sooner. I'm glad he did it right on time. This is perfect because the child support thing is going to come out public. Oh, so yeah, everybody he is gonna, trying to get it lowered. Yeah. Everybody going to look at him like, why you ain't trying to pay your child support? You, they already don't live with you. Yeah, yeah, facts. facts. Boom. Let yeah. me go ahead and tell y'all the real tea. Let me show y'all what the... <laughs> and, she, and she put it out anyway. She was the one who put the shit out. He only um seen them 16 times this year trying to prove a point. Girl. Hmm. I care about people Damn. liking me and caring and, and, and proving my point. Like, hey guys, look, um, 
no, this isn't true. This is what's really happening. I've, yo, people who know me, my mouth has been quiet for years, years. I don't say nothing. This, it's just so draining. Like everything about it. Like her, her own, her own family is is going after her for child support because she doesn't do anything to help her son. So then to try to make mm. it seem like I'm some deadbeat and I'm not trying to be there for my kids, I would love to be there for my kids, but it would be nice for you to get out the way. Let me be a father. Let me take my kids and go wherever I want. Her with family is going after her for child support because she don't take care of her son. Mm. Wow. I did see somebody say that she don't even have her own kid. She is something else. Wow. They about to take them, like you said. Mm-hmm. With them. My kids are never in danger. They don't ever have to worry about nothing. This is not about money. This is not about child support. My kids love me. Daddy! Hey, Daddy! 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 That sucks when a n can't just be a daddy. Facts. Uh, Oh, oh no. Mommy missed, she was missing you. She was looking for you. Oh, that's that's bone thugs. That's a uh, copyright. That's copyright. 100%. Yeah. They like Oh, you know, okay. He can't. I just want to say okay. like, you know, doing <laughs> shit like this, this don't benefit me. This don't help me. Like I don't like this kind of attention. That's why I usually never say anything, but this thing has been going on for so long that it's like, how much long am I gonna let Ish slide? Right. You know? It's that girl, I'm sorry. She went to that man's house with a ladder. Now, it probably was his ladder, but she knew he had a ladder. She, she, she pulled that ladder out and climbed over and was banging on his window. <laughs> Why would he have a ladder outside of the gate? That's so stupid. I'm sure he probably had the ladder like close to like a tree or something he had to climb. Like, you have ladders around the house. <laughs> yeah, but it's not smart to put a ladder in your back door. Am I tripping? I, well, she probably, I don't think the ladder was right there. She was seen carrying a ladder. So she probably had, she knew where the ladder was, knew what she was trying to get to. She got that ladder from her house. She bought that ladder from her house? I feel like she did. She pulled up with that You know what I'm she saying? Pulled up with that she brought oh. that ladder, bro. Cuz, can you imagine? Like, if if your gate is high, obviously, you wouldn't would not, as a man, I would hope, a not put a ladder right by the back door. That's crazy. She pulled up with that ladder. She had intentions on hopping that fence. And he a big dude. He ain't got to climb no ladder. Not on and that. he's not climbing no ladder. I tried, cuz. <laughs> Six foot three or something. I tried. Why do you need a ladder she pulled for? Up with that ladder. She pulled up with that ladder, cuz. That's super tough. She pulled up that ladder. It's, it's, it. it's, it's so much. It's just so much things to list and name. Like, I would have to sit there with a, a pen and pad and write down every single incident and all that, but I don't, this is, I, I'm doing this one and one time only, like, but it's just, it's just a lot of corny sh All the fake Instagram pages, harassing my mother, harassing my sister. If I'm talking to a girl, all of a sudden, the girl starts getting harassed from the same fake Instagram names. And it's like, yo, it, 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 it takes so much energy to, to like be like that. And I don't have that type of energy. I, even doing this right now is giving me such a headache. And I'm not the kind of person to get headaches. My head is pounding right now, just talking about all this. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna let, you know, God is going to do what God is going to do. And that's going to be that. Like, this ain't no, it's not a storyline. 
I'm not on Love and Hip Hop. This is my real life right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm tired. You know, um, I, I, I heard somebody one time say like, when you go through things in life, nothing stays the same, nothing lasts forever. And that's kind of how I've been dealing with this. Like, you know, even with as long as I've, you know, not seen my kids, because you know, whether it's right or wrong, I'm just standing on, yo, I'm not going to your house to pick up the kids. I don't, precinct or somebody from your family's house that I'm, that. Hey Lisa, Ninja Turtle, baby told me you have the kids. Let me know about me picking them up. Uh, I've been asking about them and trying to call my, hey, my J, whatever iPad, but I must be blocked on it. Unblock me if you can on it. Uh, I know she doesn't know how to block me. I'm sure you want some time to yourself. I wanted to keep them for a month, but I'm not playing any kitty games about it. Yeah, he got to take out of court. I don't have no issue with going over going over there, and that's that. But like, I'm I'm not I'm not going I'm not putting myself in any position to crash out, potentially snap, lose my like. Come on, because there's people who be in situations like this. Everyone's not able to like be this cool. This shit is draining. When you get to a certain age in life, like yo, drama and just all of this corny nonsense and fighting and and arguing on the internet, putting your personal business on the internet, on social media, to people who don't like, yo, I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. I don't need sympathy, I don't need pity. I don't care about none of that from nobody. I know at the end of the day what's going on, and that's that. I'm just dealing with someone who doesn't deal with logic. They deal with their way or no way. And if it's not their way, you're going you gonna to get harassed. And I don't got time. I don't got time. Yo, I don't care what nobody's doing. I'm not harassing you. You DMing girls that I was talking to and, 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 and telling them shit. It's like, yo, it's corny. Yo. I did that once. That boy going through it. I did it. that once. And when I did it, I didn't send pictures and videos and say, yo, look, this is what's happening. I just was like, yo, I want to talk to you because I like on some, hey, look, if this is who you're dealing with, I just want to let you know that this is what's happening. And if y'all are dealing, then leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't really about that. I'm just trying to have my, my time and my setup with my kids. I, my mother and my sister would love for me to bring them to New York and, and spend some time with them there. And it's just nothing, nothing is easy. Everything is a fight. And I don't fight, I don't argue, it's draining. I'm not, I don't, I don't, know. Nope, I'm, I'm not doing it. So. Not fucking doing it. When all this core stuff is said and done, mm -hmm. it is what it is. This is, it's, this is not about child support. So this thing ain't about, it's not about money. It's, it's, it's way bigger than that. It's about let me be a father, stay out the way, and that's it. Stop trying to act like you don't care when you do care. Stop harassing my mother, stop harassing my sister, stop harassing anyone that's close to me. And this is not to bash, this is just the truth. This is just what it is. So that narrative that everyone just <coughs> thinks is so cool to run, like you, you use common sense. If I haven't seen my kids, there is a reason, and this is the reason. You're going to see it. You're going to see everything. <laughs> pulled up with the ladder. She pulled up with that ladder. I'm telling you right now. That's crazy. That's a different type of crazy right there. Hmm. Jogging. <laughs> I wish we had sound with that toe sticking over that slide. That toe hanging over that slide. I know she's saying Safari. Safari, please. I just need to talk to you. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. I just want to talk to you. Why are you doing me like this?
Oh, oh, shit. oh, shit. watch out. She, she, oh, she tripping. Her little old self, man. Get the phone. And that's exactly what be going through y'all mind, man. Chill out. He's saying it's a camera right there. What you following me for? Baby's nervous. Poor children. Beautiful children, too. Right. She, she tripping. Hey, him telling that camera was right there got her chilled out, though. No, she ain't forgot. She know exactly what she doing. She the type to give me, I don't care if the camera's in the house or not. Mm. And then she decided to leave and probably was like, bring your ass. They, they scared because they going to go. They see mama crashing out and they just like, oh. they got to walk through glass and shit. stupid ass. Wow, man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's wicked. 